Next, we will be able to focus on a creative question challenge moderated by Maurice Benayoun. In this format, he develops creative ideas and questions with his guests through live interactive discussions. CQC is an online streaming platform and hub to continuously build creative ecosystems worldwide and to create a future vision together as a global society. Maurice Benayoun is a French pioneer, contemporary new media artist, curator and theorist based in Paris and Hong Kong. His work employs various media, including and often combining video, computer graphics, immersive virtual reality, the internet, performance, EEG, 3D printing, large-scale urban media art installations and interactive exhibitions. Often concept conceptual, Maurice Benayoun's work constitutes a critical investigation of the mutations in the contemporary society introduced by the emerging or recently adopted technologies. Enjoy and soak up what he will present us today in his live CQC session. Hello, good morning if you're in Europe and, uh, and good afternoon if you're in Asia and uh, good night if you're in California. So I wanted to present this uh, project uh, we have been working on for the last, uh, for the last uh, few months and even few years for part of the project. And uh, it's a kind of a, a complex project that needs to be uh, described carefully. And, and this is what I will try to do today uh, in order to make uh, uh, visible the, at the same time the complexity and the richness of, uh, of the project. So uh, we can start with the, the slides. So the, the project is titled, uh, We Make Money as Art, it's not the title of the project, sorry, but my talk uh, is titled like that, Speculative Speculations on Art and Values. Uh, of course, it, uh, it may be a bit intriguing, but you will understand very quickly the relation between money, art, transaction, speculation, uh, and values, and this is what this is about. The very beginning uh, uh, of the story was uh, some reflection I had uh, uh, many years ago on uh, two concepts that seems to go uh, to, to be uh, opposite, but actually go uh, in the same direction, corresponding to the same uh, desire of the humankind, same expectation and ambition. And this is uh, the opposition between reification and what I call sublimation. Of course, sublimation is a term coming from chemistry. And uh, it's, uh, for me, uh, the fact to try to convert all the physical world into something that we can, uh, that, uh, we can uh, divide, understand into a language. So I started probably in counting ships, uh, counting stones, counting, uh, counting uh, discrete elements that became after atoms uh, as we understood them or uh, beats as we have created them. And so we are able now to convert the world into atoms and beats. And thanks to that, we can understand the world through our mental, human, natural computation or artificial computation. The opposite of this idea to put the world in our head uh, is reification. Reification is the fact to start from, uh, to start from ideas, from thoughts, and expect them to exist. And uh, a very simple illustration of reification is uh, the fact to uh, to do 3D printing. You have a 3D model, which is a human-made abstraction, and you want this model to exist as a physical object without doing any uh, personal work, manipulation, or having any specific uh, skill for that. And so these two trends of uh, reification and sublimation seems to be 
leading the world now. We are converting everything in the world, including human being, into data. And we want this data out of this data to, uh, to produce matter and to create and to reify ideas. And so the, and this project started from this idea of, uh, of uh, uh, reification and sublimation. And so I wonder what would be interesting to try to see if directly from the brain, we could get uh, our thoughts becoming maybe first images. And this became the Brain Factory project six years ago uh, when we started to work with it uh, on it with Tobias Klein. And uh, I will say more about this, uh, this collaboration. And uh, we uh, worked on the idea of uh, giving the possibility uh, for people to uh, start from the brain waves uh, thanks to BCI, brain computer interaction, and to go to a uh, produced object, which is, uh, of course, what you can do when you create a 3D model, the 3D model can, uh, can become an object. And to understand this, uh, you have to understand that we started with the idea of uh, taking something from the brain that exists only on the brain, and this is human abstractions. So we started with human abstractions, and we wanted these human abstractions uh, to become objects. Of course, it's important to understand that the concept of reification is uh, coming uh, from Marx and Lukács, uh, who uh, explain how the commodification of, uh, of uh, human values uh, would alter and affect uh, uh, not only economy, but the human life. If uh, you consider that you can convert love into, uh, into a diamond, that means uh, you, get, you enter the market. But are you still talking about love? That's the question. So you see on the right freedom, for example, that become a shape. And so we created a collection of no design abstractions. And this is uh, the database. We may see it uh, uh, later with some shape coming from that. And of course, to understand this, uh, we should have a look to a short video that uh, explain briefly but clearly the whole concept. Uh, and this concept uh, led to another project, as you will see on the video, called Value of Values. And value of values is the result also the, the, an, an evolution of the concept that has been sought and discussed with Nicola Mendoza. And Nicola Mendoza is a, uh, a theoretician and an artist uh, that made a thesis about uh, uh, comparing blockchain and Thai amulets. And he started his thesis about this sentence from Sal Randolph, uh, which is one of once upon a time, I suggested that art is just another form of money, a beautiful money, that the artists are like tiny nation, each minting their own currency. And the art world is an instrument for calibrating the values of those currencies. And they move against each other. And then uh, we started thinking that this is actually what uh, the project is about. So. Now I would like to uh, show you these short videos the, that talks about the value of values, this project that we started one year ago, and it becomes a real interesting thing on the blockchain. So this is uh, the uh, three uh, collaborators. Uh, so Tobias Klein is an artist, uh, architect, uh, and works a lot with, with uh, 3D printing, and Nicolas Mendoza works a lot with blockchain. So this is a short presentation of the project and I can talk on it, over it, because there is no voiceover. And so you see, we start with an EEG headset and the visitors of the show put that on the head and then can assess the evolution of a shape which is generated by the computer. And then they, as they are asked to give shape to human abstractions, uh, they uh, assess the quality and the evolution of this. Uh, attraction like uh, here space 
and they try to make it evolve in a way that it would represent space. And so they are going, the visitors of the show are brain workers. And so as brain workers, at the end of the process, you will see they are actually paid, uh, of course, in, in uh, tokens. And so uh, this, is a, this is a show in, in uh, Mocha Taipei. This was a show in Guangzhou last year uh, for the ICR 2019. And at the end of the process, you, uh, you get a QR code. And with the QR code, you can, you can get the token you have produced. The shape you have produced become a token registered on the blockchain. And so this token, you can collect it and create start a collection of values because now we are collecting human values more than abstractions and you can also start uh, swapping them because you you got uh, i don't know integrity and you would like strengths money love and so you can batter one for each other or you can sell them when you batter it and so you give love for money or peace for money it looks very simple, but at the same time, you say something. And it is converted automatically in transactional poetry. So purity and trust become purity or trust. Make, make a choice of purity at dawn, respect at dusk, and now pleasure. And so if you have money and love, it may become an ethical statement, like you always need more money to find love. This is transactional poetry generated by the system out of the transactions and so all the values have relative values compared compared uh, in terms of uh, us dollars or ethereum or any uh, kind of cryptocurrency and the scientists uh, can start doing something interesting which is a periodic table of the elements and so the periodic table of the elements of the values uh, put together values close to each other according to how people collect them. So if you collect money, strength, and power, you don't collect love, peace, and, and, and tenderness. But of course, it becomes writing. To control this shape uh, becomes a way to write, to express some human values. And the reader try to interpret them, try to understand what you try to say and compare, for example, with other writing like a Chinese calligraphy. And the interpreter with another of the gang, the interpreter is actually trying to figure out how the articulation of the different words you have found uh, makes sense. So to use your brain to write, to use your brain to create a volume, uh, uh, to give shape to objects or to create other form of object, it's part of the reification process. And the reification process is when the values become objects. And here, for example, you have purity that becomes an uh, inflatable sculpture. And so people out of the 3D model can create here uh, the footprint of freedom or democracy uh, with honey, honeycombs. Here is a 3D printer that generates uh, a concrete sculpture that vanish when it rains on them, they become sand again. So the interesting element of the thing is beside of this process that create a relation between values, object, transaction, uh, there is something else happening. We are actually uh, practicing an interdisciplinary project, which is made of neuroscience, sculptures, 3D graphics, music with biofeedback, design, poetry, economics, fintech, and politics. And the, the project that has evolved, the artwork that has evolved from the status of art objects uh, became recently art subject with a complex behavior with artificial intelligence. But we can even say that more than a subject, it can become a virtual society. And so the, the visitor of the show 
become an artist, a creator, a collector, an art dealer, a trader in 10 minutes. The project itself is made of a generator, a calligrapher, a calligrapher, uh, a printer, a reader, an interpreter, a scientist, an analyst, an accountant, and a poet. This built a new kind of art uh, that allowed people to consider that the action of the artwork goes beyond the gallery space. So here you see the trading platform of the website vov.art. And on this trading platform, you can see your collection. So this is my collection. And the collection define yourself uh, because you keep only the values you want to keep, that the values that make sense for you. And so uh, in a way we could have portraits made of values, but you can also decide to select one value and to trade it, to transfer it to somebody else. Let me show you now what the transactional poetry uh, look like, looks like. And so on the website, you can see you can see the transactional poetry here, and you can have it full screen. And this is the result of trans actual transactions. It's not something we generate at random. This is something that corresponds to actual transaction. And if you go down the page, oh, you can of course see the volume, see the last uh, um, that has been produced. And here you see the relative value of the values. So you see here you have, uh, you have fame, love, openness, uh, purity, family, compassion, and so on. And here, uh, as we have shown in different, we, we have shown in uh, different, uh, can you hear me? Uh, and see this? You can see how the values change from one country to another and compare, compare for example, uh, Taipei and Guangzhou. And you see that in Taipei, the, the first value is sex, love, and compassion. And in Guangzhou, Korea, it's sex, money, and fame. And, and you, you can, can see exactly for which, which, which value, value for each. And, and this, will allow to compare the ranking of values from one country to another, and uh, we will uh, we we try, try to understand, understand better and better. We try to understand better and better uh, what, are the, uh, what are the important values for each culture. And uh, this, this is something that has never been measured. And so the interest of the project is, of course, to make it real. And so anybody, can come to the website. Uh, if you cannot access the show, we are preparing a version that will be uh, that will be online. Let me see if I can go further because I, I would like to to say something about the reification thing. So, if you get the token, and uh, you can also buy tokens, some are very cheap. Uh, some are expensive. It depends on the number. A token is a value like uh, love one, two, three, four, or uh, like love zero, 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 one. And the number, of course, modify also the, uh, the scarcity of the, of the value. But if you produce an artwork out of the value and uh, you succeed in making sense out of it, then uh, your artwork may be presented in one of the shows uh, because we want to show uh, reification and we are totally open with, uh, I don't know, School of Art and, uh, and uh, any, any institution that would like to have a, a partnership and, uh, and create a workshop to have uh, uh, artists uh, working in, uh, in, doing, in uh, creating artworks out of what we call a seed of art, uh, uh, which is a VOV. Uh, and then this can be part of one of the shows. So uh, this one you see here, it's a project of creating a big reificator. And the big reificator would print the 3D, 3D models, the values uh, in concrete. And at the end of the process, instead of uh, having uh, 
instead of having uh, a beautiful vanity, it rains on the sculpture and the sculpture becomes stand again. And so you have to start again the process. So it's like Sisyphus. Uh, but it's also a way to say, we cannot convert totally our soul to, uh, into objects, but in a way, isn't it uh, the role of the artist uh, to uh, give shape to ideas? And uh, this is uh, what uh, this project allows. So if you make sense out of the final model, then suddenly you legitimate the practice. Uh, so we are totally, uh, totally open to uh, uh, many, many kind of collaborations for that. And uh, we have many, uh, many exhibition plans, but for most of them, they have been postponed. So I don't know exactly when they will happen. So I, I won't tell you. Uh, I won't tell you where it is, but we need to have exhibition as many countries as possible, uh, as it will allow to define what is the ranking of values for each country, and then what is ranking of values for each people and each city as well. And so this project is a form of survey. It's an uh, experimental project. We could say it's a kind of global art project, not uh, uh, not in classic sense of the term, but because it's touching, is uh, affecting so many fields and layers of uh, human activity at the same time. Uh, and uh, it's pretty funny to do as well. So this is why people uh, usually uh, enjoy to do that. And uh, maybe I have a, a last uh, image to, to share. Here we have one of the related projects, which is actually the brain cloud. We had a, a big cube made of uh, plenty of LEDs to represent this evolution of the brain in action. So definitely value of values is a way to speculate and to speculate on the human values uh, at the theoretical level, metaphorical level, and at the financial level as well. I hope I've been clear and thank you for your attention.